Okay, YouTube. So this video is about vaginal shyness. And so what I mean about that is not how shy I am about talking about my vagina. So this is going to be pretty painful and awkward for you to watch, as all of these videos are. Um, but the sort of um, being shy about how others uh, perceive, interact with, experience um, my vagina. And so it seems like a weird and sort of entirely too bizarre <laughs> academic way of um, thinking about my vagina, but <laughs> at the same time, um, in the 21 months that I've had it, not a lot of people have um, played with it or experienced it. Um, you know, <laughs> I haven't used it a lot yet with other people. And um, when I can regain my composure here from feeling entirely too awkward, um, I had somebody spend the night last night and there's no need to get into too much detail about it. But I sort of had a moment um, where I got a little bit self-conscious about it. Um, and um, the other person was very good at um, <laughs> making me feel better. Um, not, well, anyway. So the point is that I'm very self-conscious about it, I guess. And it's probably more mental than it is actually physical because everybody who has, uh, <laughs> it's been so far so good. And nobody has had a problem with it. Everybody has seemed to enjoy it. Um, and so... I think by all means it's <laughs> a success, but it's just something that I think maybe it's the sort of lack of sexual experience with it since surgery. Um, you know, it's too small of a sample size. Um, I don't know, but it's something that I'm going to have to work through and it's something that I guess comes with being trans. and. Um, I'm sure it'll be fine. <laughs>